Hey there, all my PopCon peeps. Magic Man Rusty here, and welcome to another live streaming episode of The Magnificent Seven. We're celebrating PopCon Indy's seventh anniversary by spending seven minutes with members of the greater PopCon family and joining us in the PopCon Corral this evening, one of our many virtual PopCon 2020 guests, a man who has more voices in his head than a schizophrenic. I'm Rusty Ammerman, and our Magnificent Seven with Jason Liberick begins right now dude thank you for being here i'm sorry that you don't get to spend your birthday with us in indianapolis i know me too man i had all kinds of big plans but Vert, it is gonna it is your popcon this year is going to be on your birthday so uh first of all happy birthday thank you very much i appreciate it and uh sorry but at least you'll, you'll kind of be there in spirit anyway so let's let's start with some questions i'm gonna ask if you go to the gym but Looking at yeah, that's kind of a silly question. So I guess the uh, I don't these days actually. I, I have uh, I've been you know home working out and running every morning that kind of thing. Um, I fell off for a while, but I've been back at it for about a month. Okay, so that's that's what you look like when you've fallen off of it for a while, huh? Well, I've been back in it about three weeks. Oh, good. So yeah, because that 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 and I'm me. blessed with the metabolism of a mosquito. That's what my my family tells me. <laughs> Well, good. I'm glad you're getting back into it because you were kind of wasting away or nothing there. So indeed, um, indeed. when you when you order a steak, how do you get it cooked? Mid-rare. That's the correct answer. Good for you. All right. So um, are you a singer? Do you like to sing? I do sing. Yes, sir. All right. And so are you one of these people that frequent the karaoke nights at your local establishments? I do not. Uh, my, my girl is not very into the karaoke. Uh, so since we've been dating, which is a few years now, she uh -huh. might. I uh, disagree with the definition of a few. Um, that has not happened. It's not her favorite thing to do. I think you just interviewed her, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm, um, possibly. You want to you share with our PopCon fans who that might be? Elizabeth Maxwell. Yes, she was hilarious. Very funny. Good, good. She is hilarious. And, and in agree. fact, speaking of which, uh, we're gonna, you're going to be seeing her again virtually on Friday the 10th at 6 p.m. I'll be hosting a panel with you, Leah, and your lovely sweetie Elizabeth. And then you Indeed. have a meet and greet immediately after from 7 to 9. And all the okay. fans who want to spend three virtual minutes with you can do so by going to popcon.us and signing up and making sure you get there because I have a feeling that those slots are going to go pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, if you had to go to a karaoke night, what's the one tune that you would grab to crush it and do the mic drop? What, what would it be? Oh, dude, there's so many. Uh, maybe, maybe Purple Rain. Purple Rain would be a nice choice. That's classic. Nice. Very nice. You, you, can, you can sing that? All right. I'm impressed. I can sing that. I can sing that for sure. What were you popular for when you were back in the high school? Um, I was popular for being kind of a crazy weirdo, in all honesty. <laughs> Um, I was the nut. And I could sing that too. Uh, I was in bands and people knew me for doing that and for being the guy who would jump off the roof into the pool, that sort of okay. thing. I do not endorse any of these activities. I just want to say that, you know, of course, of course. do not attempt yeah. anything that I did in high school, right. so, currently, or at home, or wherever. Kids, do not do this at home. If you're going to do it, Indeed. do it with somebody Indeed. else's do house. Not. Do not yeah. do it at home. So I, if I'm you... much more chill now, though. I don't do that, that kind of stuff. Okay, so let me see if I can guess. If you were in the band and you were the guy jumping off the roof in the pools, then you either played trumpet or drums. Well, I can't play the drums, but I was the singer in the bands. Typically. Oh, so you say... But you not, were... not, not school band. Okay, like I'm rock sorry. Bands. Gotcha. You were in a rock band, so you were not in the high school marching band then. I was not. I was not. Okay, so how many instruments do you play? What do you play? You play your voice, you play drums. I can, I can sing, I can play some guitar, and I can play some drums, but mainly I sing. All right, so... Uh, Everybody, kind of... if you throw a rock in Austin, Texas, you're going to find somebody who plays the guitar. Yeah, probably, yeah. Uh, you throw two rocks, you'll find a drummer. Drummer. You throw and three, you'll find a bassist. You're right, that's it. I mean... That's retro, and then four, I think, is a tuba player. <laughs> the tuba? Oh, that's way to go. Indeed, and be careful, don't get the rocks inside the tuba while they're playing. Anyway... The aperture's not big enough, typically, but if it's a small rock, you need to be careful. You know. <laughs> he's, he's calculating the physics of the bell size of the instrument. He is. Be careful when you're choosing your rocks, please. Right, right. And you don't want to ding those up. Unless it's a rented instrument, then it's okay. You know, play it like you stole it. Of course, it. of course. Uh, so, when... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you did. It was rock. Did you do? Uh, you did cover stuff, and uh, obviously, was there one band that you really liked to cover when you were doing this? Oh, um, we liked to play the Cult a little bit. I'm going to age myself here. Oh, yeah, I get it. Um, some Guns N' Roses, some uh, some REM, some Soundgarden, 
you name it. Like, well, you were kind of all over the, the 90s, board, then. right? And yeah, there was some there was some hardcore thrown in there, some bad brains, some minor threat. All uh, right, a little maiden here and there. Well, you really are the rock and roll renaissance man, aren't you? Were, <laughs> Would you, would, you, would you say that you were the class clown? No, no, I would not. I mean, I could be. Occasionally, if something, you know, occurred to me that, that made a great deal of sense for the moment, I might, you know, blurt it out. I didn't have the best editor, you know, but, but I wasn't, you know, that wasn't my aim. My aim wasn't to disrupt. Just if I couldn't, you know, stop this, this thought from coming out and, you know, occasionally. Okay. Right, right. Well, I mean, you're an adolescent boy. You know, they're, they're, you really don't have an editor at all. If right, you... right. Impulse control is not high up there on the skill set. Okay, so here, here's an interesting one. If you were to name the autobiography written about you or the biography written about you, what would the name of your biography be? Well, that happened. <laughs> That's great. Perfect answer. Didn't even hesitate. Oh, God. Speed date, man. Speed date. You said it was a speed date. Yeah. Who was your hero as a child? Oh, um, let's see. Uh, uh, Robert De Niro was one of them, for sure. And then uh, Rutger Hauer, oh. specifically from Blade Runner. You have some very eclectic taste, man. I got to hand it to you. Uh, so when you think of Robert De Niro, what is the one movie that you think captures his, you know, when you think of Robert De Niro, what's the role that comes to mind? I'd say Taxi Driver. Yeah, no yeah. You're looking at me, you know, you talking to me, right. Okay, yeah, so yeah. He, after after he, you know, makes the Mohawk and he talks to the FBI guy at the rally. Crazy eyes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Are you are you reading any books right now? Are you a book reader? I am a book reader. Uh what what is the name of the book? I'm I'm reading uh, uh, it's a book that's in a long series. Uh gosh, I can't remember the name of the book. It's this weird kind of I think it started kind of as a young adult thing, which is not uh -huh. really my thing, but somebody told me I would like it. It's, um red rising the red rising series right right well sometimes those young adults things kind of they, they fool you like uh it doesn't uh, seem young adult anymore right i mean at least you, you get further into the story when they've gotten a little older and it's it's a little uh, yeah. well you know harry potter was originally a young reader so was uh the hunger games and they you know those are kind of some adult themes there too yeah the stories excellent they get involved well, with the characters as the characters age the themes aged as well right the readers age too you're exactly right well jason man a pleasure let me remind everybody Everybody. We're unfortunately we're out of time. Let me remind everybody, though, Friday the 10th at 6 o'clock, a panel. Yours truly will be hosting it, and the guests will be you, Leah, and, and Elizabeth. And uh, so we'll see some, some romantic sparks fly there, I'm sure. And then you have a meet and oh, greet yeah. from 7 to 9 right after popcon.us is where people can sign up so they can spend a, a virtual private session with you for three minutes and ask you all kinds of questions and get more crazy stories. Sounds awesome, man. Wonderful. I appreciate it, Rusty. My pleasure. Until next time, all my PopCon peeps, live long and prosper. Take care, everybody.